your reward is sublime, the risks are greater, you must embrace the uncomfortable to taste the rarefied air of excellence. You gotta be good to be great. You know, and if you take good and break it down into an acronym, grind out outstanding days. Money, stay on my craft and stick around for those pounds. But I do that to pass the torch and put on for my town. Trust me, on my I N D E P E N D E N T shit hustling. Chasing dreams since I was 14 with the four track busting. Halfway across that city with the back, 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 crush it. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give that to the people, spread it across the country. Labels out here, now they can't tell me nothing. We give it to the people, spread it across the country. Can we go back? This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us. Like the ceiling can't hold us. Can we go back? This is the moment. Tonight is the night. We'll fight till it's over. So we put our hands up like the ceiling can't hold us. Like the ceiling can't We were unsatisfied. Um, it left a bad taste in our mouth to be uh, the team to break, I think it was a, a 10 year streak or so of making it to the national championship and, and I'm excited to play this team again. Uh, I've been watching the game back uh, all year long from beginning of fall uh, against these guys last year so it's something that we've been excited about all year and, and we're glad that we get to get another shot at these guys in the big stage. When you reach the top, you quickly realize there's no place to sit down and we as a team must progress and get better every single week regardless of who the opponent is. Definitely last year was a, was a bittersweet moment. Um, this year we just told the guys that hey, th nothing's guaranteed. Sad boys are guaranteed. You got to take it week by week. And to know that you know, we didn't make it and we didn't reach our goals and that this year we want to reach our goals. As leaders on the team, we had to get the team to understand that the number one team in the nation was last year's team. And so um, what we tried to do was we adopted a strategy of um, this is a new team and so um, we have to find our own identity and so let's go out every week and prove that we are just as good as we were last year. Execution and then also heart. Um, last week being down 35-10 that showed our heart and showed how we can execute when we're down. Um, I think this team has a lot of hope a lot of heart, and we, we can definitely execute on Friday night. We have to limit turnovers, and uh, whenever we get down in the red zone, we have to we have to finish the drive. They're a great defense. Um, it's a fun football team to watch and, and fun to play against, and we're looking forward to that challenge. And you know, I don't I don't know if, if I can give out uh, keys per se of, of how to beat that defense. It's just stay the course, and you know you're going to deal with some adversity. They're going to make plays. We're going to make plays. We just got to make more of them. Play hard, get out of the stack, and um, know how to line up and know your job, know your role. Protecting the football is going to be huge. You know, you, you, you go against a, a defense, um, you know, that good, and, and then you turn the football over, you're going to really, you know, make it difficult on yourself. Um, you know, we, we want to try to win that turnover battle. You know, I think staying patient offensively. You're playing a great, a great defensive unit. You, you got to be patient. We feel confident that we can play pretty good defense too. I think we'll. Will match up with their offense, and you know, so it's a lower scoring game than you know what we're accustomed to. We'll, we'll handle it. To play a team like Mount Union and the quarterback and all of their skills at receivers and running backs, uh, it's going to be a huge challenge for us. Uh, but I think it will be fun uh, to watch. It will be fun to uh, be in a contest with them. On defense, is just um, getting after the quarterback and not messing up because they, they, they have the number one defense. So as defense, we have to help our offense and make sure we don't mess up and give up uh, big plays and um, create turnovers. The identity of our defense is be physical and get out of the stack. We let the dogs up front, we let them go, and um, we let the secondary cover. This defense is just a defense that's just fast, physical, and for the most part pissed off um, every single play. Um, guys on this defense really, really do channel in and 
try and get after the quarterbacks, uh, try and force turnovers, and just try and be, uh, play due defense, um, being relentless, being ruthless, and a little bit ratchet, but that's the way we play defense. All we have to do is make the quarterback hold the ball for just two extra seconds, and our, you know, our D-line's there, you know? And so um, we know that they have our backs. Um, the quarterback has to get it out quick, otherwise he's gonna get hit in the mouth. Our players see a sign every day when they go into the locker room. You know, here's Mount Union's record, you know, when we've won the turnover battle. And then at the time we made a sign, I think it was 105 and zero. You know, and here's the seven times in the last 10 years or so that we didn't lose, that we, that we didn't win the turnover battle. And here's the result. You know, and, and uh, you know, most of those are losses. Chinning the football, protecting the football, you know, making good decisions with the football. And you know, they, they know that if, if we protect the football, we're, we're gonna make it very difficult on our opponent to beat us. The most important thing as a quarterback, you have to be the fiercest competitor on the field. So that kind of established my philosophy of defense is that we really and truly want to uh, see if in fact the quarterback is the fiercest competitor on the field. We just want to make sure that we give him as much pressure as he can feel and sense. And so with that and with the, the coverage package that we use behind it and the skilled guys that we have, uh, it gives us an opportunity to really challenge the quarterback. I think we're an offense that uh, can generate explosive plays. And I think in, in college football, that's huge right now. You know, uh, the, the, the team that generates more explosive game, plays throughout the game, you know, they typically are winning the game. At the end of the day, we're here to go get a win Friday, and um, we have to keep in mind film. We have to keep in mind special teams. We have to keep in mind what formations they're going to be in, what routes they're going to run. We have to keep all of that stuff in the back of our minds while trying to enjoy and embrace this experience. I've had some emotional conversations with people, um, especially after last week and the adversity that we dealt with and, and almost losing the opportunity to play this week, and we battled back, and, and we knew that that wasn't an option to go home early. Um, so we made it here. And that's not enough either. Uh, we're here to win this thing, and, and I know that they are too, but uh, it's going to be a dogfight, and we're ready for it. Well, we know they're a good team. We played them last year, and they gave us a, a really good run for our money. But uh, we played, I mean, practicing against our defense every, every week. It's just, I mean, that's a, we, we consider them the number one defense in the nation, so we, we get a lot of good practice with that. It's just not good enough being here. Uh, winning it is what we came here to do. So definitely coming in with that mindset of, it's cool to be at Stagwell, but it's even better when you win it. I want it. I want it bad. Uh, sophomore year, we were able to hoist that trophy, and I was fortunate enough to be on the field, but, but I want to be the senior that, that's able to hold it up and, and uh, do it for the university, do it for the alumni, uh, do it for everyone. I just, I want it. I want it bad. I don't think it really hit yet. Uh, this is our last game, and being here last year, I know when we landed, uh, we all felt like we, we started getting memories of uh, winning last year, so Coming down here, we have to win again. That's everything you worked for all four years being here. We got a couple of those back at home, but it's the one that you play as a, as a senior that really means something. And something that I'll, I'll see and think about for the rest of my life. Two or three keys to victory. One, take care of the football, uh, be relentless, and, um, and get after them. Start strong, finish strong. Uh, it's, there's going to be a lot of punches thrown. We want to throw the first one. You can't just have a good offense, good defense. It has to all three come together and, and work in one uh, common goal in unison to win that national championship. These are guys that I truly call my brothers, and I love these guys to death. And I, I mean, there's nothing I wouldn't do to, to play another game with them. So this being my last game with them, uh, I just want to say thank you to all of them. And, I love them and I'm going to do everything I can to make sure we go out with a win. I feel like it's a brotherhood. Um, you know, we, we've had some adversity this year and, and we looked out for each other and, and you know, last week we were down 25 points with nine minutes left and we never quit on each other. Um, it's the belief in the guy next to you, it's, it's the love for the guy next to you and it's, um, you know, the, the belief that we're going to get it done. Just knowing that it's, it'll be my last game knowing that it'll be, I'm not the only senior on the team, you know, there's gonna be some of these last, these guys last time strapping up and um, just try to embrace it. You know, not just the experience being here in the hotel, but actually in the middle of the game, in the game, have fun with it, embrace it. Definitely um, just all the games I've played here, um, wearing the 
purple and black and just realizing that this is the last game and um, there, there is no next year for me. Um, coming out every play and just visualizing myself making those plays, um, the plays that I've, I've done before and just um, knowing that I have to execute more than ever in this game. To impersonate my coach, this is what I would do. That a baby. I mean, he'll say that and he'll be like, add a baby. I'm sure they said I always say add a baby. If I'm impersonating my coach, the big thing he says is, all right, guys. But he, he always says a lot when we're bringing it up. All right, all right, all right. But that's about it. They understand that, uh, that I say some things and do some things, but it's all because I care about them. Jeez, this is tough. Uh, this was actually the big joke on the team that everyone tries to do this. Uh, I'm bad at it, but uh, coach at the end of practice will have to say, let's get a Raiders and go eat. Uh, towards the end of every practice, we'll end it with the Raiders, and he'll always end his piece uh, as ending with the Raiders and go eat. I'll, I'll be honest with you, they're, they're impersonating me. My dad used to say that every day at the end of practice. So, you know, in a way, I'm impersonating him. And, you know, that's something that's been said at the end of practice for a, a long, long time. Let's get a Raiders and go eat.